Hi, thank you for checking out my video for my Untero Kickstarter. I just wanted to show a few of my favorite cards, which of course I salted the top of the deck with. The Lighten Up card is one of my favorites because I can certainly use some lightening up and I think it's a really funny looking card. Also, it's an homage to the Happy Squirrel card, which can be found in some modern tarot decks. The Happy Squirrel card originally came from a Simpsons episode. The Desire card, of course, I use an apple to represent the apple in the Garden of Eden. The Joker card, I think, is kind of fun. It has some good trickster energy, the uh, trickster fox. And since this is a 54 card deck, much like a deck of playing cards, which has 52 cards plus two jokers, I thought this deck needed at least one joker. The love card, this is the first Undera card I designed. Um, I wanted to use the chalice to represent the Ace of Cups. Um, the Ace of Cups in the Rider Waite deck is turns into a fountain, and I have water fountaining into it, and a woman bathing in the water. Water represents emotions. For some reason, I really like the Fear card. I'm not sure what that says about me. <laughs> and finally, the Potential card. Um, originally, I was just going to have the um, Solar Eclipse, but then I decided to add some Hecate statues. In the Chaldean oracles, Hecate is referenced not necessarily as a goddess of potential, but she's the one who came before. She's the, the beginning when there is nothing, which I thought was a good representation of potential. So again, I have 54 cards. It's a very feminine deck. I won't show you all of them here. Um, the back of the deck looks like this. The deck will be slightly smaller at three and a half by five inches and use traditional playing card stock. And well, I won't go through the whole deck because then the video will be way too long if I go really fast. But uh, thank you for checking out my Untero Kickstarter.